is a lack of belief in God the same as belief that there is no God? Theists claim it is, atheists claim that it isn't. Well, but if you're not up for philosophizing, then just knock yourself out. Instead of thinking about God, religion and atheists, watch the clip of my sister cat. Oh, by the way, I, I put some footage of him licking his own balls, just so you know. You've been warned. So what is at stake here, I wonder? What's the point of this sometimes heated discussion? Well, I'm glad you asked. I tell you what's at stake. Took me a week of scratching my head to realize what this is really about. Oh yes, I, I am the dumb. The argument is about which side should bear the burden of proof. Is it religious people that have to prove that God exists? Or is it atheists that should prove the opposite? So here it is how we untangle that. Misunderstanding in discussions happen when two completely different things are described with the same word. And the key word here is belief. For religious person, belief in God is unconditional, without the need for evidence or even despite it. To believe is to have faith. Now for atheist, belief is evidence-based conviction that is arrived at in a process of critical thinking. This conviction will be changed in face of evidence. Is lack of belief in God the same as belief that there is no God? The answer is clear-cut yes, if you are of religious persuasion, and it all depends on evidence if you are atheist. Now there is a very easy way to determine in which camp you belong to, by following this simple two-step procedure. First, answer the question. Is there anything at all, even in theory, that would change my belief? And the second, name that thing. If your answer was no, or you couldn't name the thing, then you play for the team religious. But wait, let's rewind a bit. Is lack of belief... Blah, 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 blah. Forget about it for a moment. For um, there's a better question that we can ask to illuminate the issue, and I mean the original question. The question to which some people think the answer is in fact 42. And the question is, Mommy, is this a dinosaur? Oh wait, 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 no, sorry, that's not, that's not that one, I, I got confused. And the original question is, what the fuck is going on and why? You see, we look around and we see all those things like rocks, sky, sun, clouds, plants and animals, well, basically nature, the ways that all those pieces interact with one another and, uh, and the strange order and harmony. At some point, you and I and some other thinking animals are bound to ask this fundamental question. What the fuck is going on and why? You see, gods were the answer that early human arrived at. The answer which helped them to comprehend the nature of reality and explain all those baffling things such, such as rain, lightning, seasons or, or tides. Back in good old days when the tools were made out, made out of stone and people lived in the huts made out of shit, religion had little to do with the faith. Gods were part of the reality, invisible mover of things and throwers of lightnings, blowers of winds, blowers of winds, well that's a good one. But well, the moral aspect of religion only enters the stage with the god that Moses made up much, much later. But, but that's the subject for another video, if I'm still alive. So if you look at the question that I started the show with from the perspective of the search for the answer to the fundamental question of life and universe, you may realize that this question from the beginning of the show is rather an interesting one. You see, modern religion with its compulsory faith and unreason, provides one universal answer to all questions, namely, God made it so. So, when atheist gets pushed to prove that God doesn't exist, she or he can say, well, we can explain a lot about the universe without the need for the God hypothesis. Even though we may not have all the answers, there are people out there working hard to get them. Now, while I'm at it, let me put the rest one of the arguments that atheists use to deflect the burden of proof. It is often said that you cannot prove the negative, and this is a false notion. 
one of the laws of logic is actually formulated as negative. The law of contradiction that states the proposition cannot be true and not true. And that one has been proven. Well, so here is something sounding like a deductive argument which aims to prove that God doesn't exist. If God exists, he is omnipotent and all-knowing. Now, omnipotent God knows everything, including his own choices. Therefore, he cannot change his mind. Because if he did, it means he hadn't, hadn't known that he would. So, he is not all-knowing, uh, nor omnipotent. Well, therefore, he doesn't exist. If you or some of your friends or relatives were um, affected by the by the things mentioned in this show, or maybe if you think that the argument wasn't very good, or you have proved that God exists, please let us know. You can uh, leave a comment in the comment section below.